Okay, let's go ahead and solve this interesting problem. And this is part of a huge topic in mathematics. I'll go ahead and actually uh, tell you uh, that topic in a second. Matter of fact, if you know what this topic is, go ahead and put that into the comment section. But uh, basically what we want to do is we want to figure out the sum. We want to add up a bunch of numbers, but let's take a look at these numbers. Now, what we have is what we call a sequence of numbers, okay? So we have negative 18, and then we go to negative 15, and then we have negative 12. But if you look, there's a certain pattern going on. So this is a sequence, okay? A sequence of numbers is basically a uh, number separated by a comma, okay? And it has some sort of pattern to it. Now, what we want to do, okay, is one, figure out what is the pattern. I'm going to tell you what the pattern is here, and then uh, you'll kind of appreciate the solution to this problem. But if we went from negative 18 to negative 15, how do we get from here to here, okay? Just think about how we could have gotten from here to this number, and then from this number to this number. Is there a consistent pattern, okay? Now, I'm going to let you think about that for one second, but I'm going to actually give you the answer right now. So... If we add positive three, this negative 18, and we add a positive three, we get to negative 15. And then if we add a positive three again, we get to negative 12, okay? Well, this is basically the pattern to figure out all the numbers in this sequence. And the question here is the following, okay? This is the first number in the sequence, negative 18. Our second number is um, negative 15. Our third number is um, negative 12. Now, we can continue this exercise on negative 12 plus uh, 3, positive 3, and we can get this next, our fourth number, and we can do this on and on and on and on and on until we get to our 43rd number. Can you imagine the amount of work it would take to get that number? But you could certainly do it. We just have to add up a uh, positive 3 a bunch of times, okay? Now, once we have all those numbers in this particular sequence, okay, we want to add them up and find the sum. So that would be quite a bit of work, but I'm gonna show you an easy way to do this, okay? And the topic we're talking about here is sequence and series. It is a huge, huge topic, especially in more advanced mathematics. But uh, if you haven't studied uh, sequence or series and you're just interested in how this works, well, stick around here. You can definitely learn this. I'm gonna explain this step-by-step uh, step in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I'm telling you right now, you can be successful in mathematics, but it requires great math instruction, clear, understandable, and comprehensive. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or college level in terms of mathematics, check out my math help program. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. It will definitely help you out big time. Also, if you're taking some sort of test with a dedicated math section, Many of you out there will be taking a test like this, placement exams, certification exams, entrance exams, uh, things like the ASVAB, GED, SAT, teacher certification exam. Check out my, um, or in my math help program, I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you out. Also, I have a full complete um, homeschool program for those of you that are homeschooling. I have uh, cover, my math courses cover middle and high school mathematics. Um, now, if you need a pair of great math notes, hopefully you do not. Okay, because you should be taking your own. Everyone needs great math notes. If you don't have a pair of awesome math notes, I'm going to leave links to my notes in the description of this video. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, now for those of you who think you could do this, okay, I would be extremely impressive because you're going to have to, you know, know some formulas that are a little bit more advanced. But if you want to go ahead and just, you know, do this real quick, Put your answer into the comment section or do it in some sort of way that you think it will work, okay? Tell me the sum of the first 43 numbers of this sequence. Okay, so I'm going to give you the answer right now, okay? If we add it up, here's the first number of the sequence. Here's the second number. Here's the third number. If we add it up, the first 43 numbers of this sequence, the sum would be 1935, okay? 1935. So if you got this right, that is super impressive. Matter of fact, I will have to give you an A++, uh, an A++ a 150%. And if you were in my uh, math class, maybe like Algebra 2, College Algebra, Pre-Calculus, I would consider just sending you home for the rest of the year and giving you your A++ in uh, your report card in the mail. 
but uh, most of you probably don't really know what's going on here. So what's happening is the following, okay? To get from this uh, number, okay, this term to this term to this term, remember I said we we're adding a positive three, okay? Well, this is defined as something called an arithmetic sequence, okay? So we have basically two types of sequences that we, you kind of study and what we call arithmetic and geometric, okay? So if you're studying this topic, you'll definitely know what I'm talking about. But an arithmetic sequence is one where you can get to the next term by adding the same number, okay? So if we keep adding the same number from term to term to term, each term is uh, separated by what we call a common difference. It's the same number, but we, give, we go from one number to the next number, and these are what we call terms in the sequence uh, by adding the same number, okay? Adding as in uh, arithmetic, okay? Now, if I went from one number, let me kind of just erase this here for a second. If I went from one number to an, the next uh, number or the term, let's say I took two, and then I had, um, let's see here, if you could figure it out, two, six, uh, 18. What's going on here, okay? Well, if you notice, I went from two to six by multiplying by three. Now you could add by four, right? You're like, well, you could add by four, but here's a, here's the deal. Uh, to get to the next uh, term, if that was six plus four, that would be 10. So that's not there. But if I multiply by three, two times three is six. Six times three is 18. Okay, so now to get to the next term, I'm multiplying. This is what we call a geometric sequence, okay? Now, I'm gonna use the word series, okay? So we have, this is a sequence where you're just, your numbers are um, separated by commas. We're just talking about a particular pattern. But now if we wanna add up the terms of these respective uh, sequences, we have what we call a series. So what we're really dealing with here is something called an arithmetic series, okay? So this is kind of the setup, and I wanted to explain this to you because a lot of you may not uh, know much about sequence and series, so this, you know, hopefully is a good introduction to these concepts. But uh, let's go ahead and figure out uh, how to find the sum of this without doing all that painful arithmetic. And what you're going to need is some formulas. So when you study this at a more formal level, typically this is like college algebra, algebra two, certainly pre-calculus, courses like that. You're going to be uh, studying sequence and series. So you're given different formulas that you can use to find the sum of an arithmetic uh, sequence, okay? I, or the sum of an arithmetic series, okay? So really, when you're finding the sum, you are finding, um, we're really dealing with series. So this is one uh, particular um, uh, formula that we can use. And this is some fancy sigma notation. Basically, uh, when we talk about this term here, okay, this is our first term, but technically we would write this this way, a sub one, okay? That's our first term in our um, sequence, because now I gotta be very careful, I don't wanna confuse you, sequence and series, uh, so we're separated by commas. This is our second term, a sub two. This would be our third term, a sub three. And then way over here, this is uh, a uh, sub 43. And then if we just had some general term way out in the boonies over here, we would just call that a sub n, okay? Now, in this particular case, n is, uh, this is our first term, n would be our last term, okay? So in this case, we wanna um, add up the uh, terms of the, of the first 40, we wanna find the sum of the first 43 terms, okay? So this is just kind of a fancy sigma notation. This requires a little video in and of itself to use, but basically this says add up the sum between the first term up to your last term, and now in uh, this particular case, n is equal to 43, okay? So to use this formula, I have n, it's 43. I have the first term that's negative 18, but I don't have uh, this last term, okay? So this is, n is 43, so a sub n is the value of this 43rd term. I don't have that, okay? Now, could I get that? Yes, it would be quite painful, right? I would have to keep adding three, 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 and eventually I would get the um, actual value of that 43 term. So 
uh, this would be pretty difficult to get. I couldn't get that, and then I couldn't use this formula. But there is an alternative formula that we can use for the sum of an arithmetic sequence. Okay, and let's go ahead and take a look at that. And that is this formula. Okay, so the sum of an arithmetic sequence is one half n. Now n is how many terms we're dealing with. So again, we're dealing with 43 terms. We do have that first term. That's a sub one. Okay, which is what negative 18. And then here, n is, again, how many terms we want to add up. That's 43. And then d is that common difference I was telling you about. It's the number that we use to add uh, to get or add or subtract to get to the next uh, number. In that case, it's positive 3. Okay, so now here, I have all this information, and I can find the sum of those um, first 43 terms. So... When you're studying sequence and series, there are a ton of formulas. This is, uh, you know, kind of like when I tell you things like about math notes, and uh, for those of you who um, are a subscriber to my um, uh, channel and watch some ad additional videos, you may have heard me talk about the importance of uh, note-taking, okay? And uh, by the way, if you are a subscriber, I definitely appreciate it. Thank you very much. But, you know, in math, there's so much information. You can't simply just look at this stuff and not take notes, okay? There's too many formulas. There's too many details. So that's why it's extremely important to be highly organized, clear, neat, etc. That is the fundamental thing. So if you're struggling in math right now, probably a lot of you out there need to improve your note taking. Okay, so uh, anyways, hopefully you had this on your notes if you're studying this. Now uh, we have two particular um, formulas that we could use to find the sum. Now we know which one to use. We're going to use this one because we have all the information available now. So let's go ahead and plug in the numbers and figure that out. So here it is. So here, again, is our first term, second term, third uh, third term. Uh, here is our 43rd term. Again, we could write that as a sub 43. So our first term, a sub 1, okay? I just have 1 as this is the first number in the sequence. But a sub 1 is negative 18. n is how many terms you're dealing with. I'm dealing with 43 terms, so a sub 43 would be the actual term itself. But n is uh, 43, now, D, again, is that common difference. And if you didn't know how to uh, find this, if you just couldn't identify it, the way you do it is you subtract uh, a term from a previous term in a um, sequence, okay, To if you know you're dealing with something arithmetic. So in this case, it would be negative 15 minus negative 18. So negative 15 uh, plus a negative of negative is positive, so that gives me a positive 3. So this is my common difference, okay? So you can test that. I'm like, okay, um, I'm going to add 3 to get to here. That makes sense. I'm going to add 3. Yep, it's it's working, right? You can kind of kind of validate that, in fact, you have the correct common difference. So now we have everything again for this formula. And let's go and just plug in information now and do the number crunching. All right, so here's n. Here's a sub 1. Here's n, and here's d. So n is, again, 43. Okay, we talked about that. The first term is negative 18. Uh, n, again, is 43. And d, the common difference, is 3. And now we just have to go ahead and be nice and diligent with our work. So let's go ahead and work with inside the grouping symbols or parentheses or brackets. So 2 times negative 18, negative 36. 43 minus 1, 42 times 3. So what do we got here? 42 times 3 is 126. Uh, and that's going to be plus a negative 36. So negative 36 plus 126 is 90. So we have 1 half times 43 times 90. Well, 2 goes into 90. 45. So 43 times 45 is 1935. Okay. So again, if you were able to you know, do this all on your own, you probably some of you, um, you know, we're able to do this because you're studying this topic right now. You're like, oh, I'm, you know, I just want to practice this stuff. So that's excellent. But when it comes to sequence and series, there is a lot of formulas that you got to uh, remember. In mathematics, as you kind of get, you know, um, you know, even more advanced in math, your notes are going to get much more complex. So you need to have those study habits, those skills. And these are the things that you can learn, okay? Uh, and typically what happens is a lot of students or a lot of people, they'll get like, I don't really, you know, want to improve. You know, you can't be 
unfortunately, I have to use the word lazy. <laughs> if you're going to be lazy and try to, you know, do well in an advanced math course or any math course, yeah, it's going to be very difficult. But if you're willing to work at it and put in the discipline and, get, and just focus on great note taking and just doing your problems, you're you're going to do so much better. Okay, so if you're struggling in math. You know, start fixing these problems that are under your control. The second half of that is great math instruction. Hopefully, you like my math instruction. If you do, and you need to know more about sequence and series, I would strongly steer you towards like my pre-calculus um, course. Okay, that's where I really teach everything about um, sequence and series. So that would be my recommendation. Of course, you can find that in my math help program. I do have additional videos on my YouTube channel on sequence and series, but I primarily teach this stuff in my uh, courses like my pre-calculus course. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.